Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, we are going to tackle the remote drain plug for a boat. I am getting older, so it's hard for me to bend down. So what you gotta do here is locate where you wanna have it. I'm gonna put mine right here. I pre-taped this so when I go into the fiberglass, it doesn't get a lot of places everywhere. And down there below, I end up taking, I end up uh, doing some cleaning down there, getting it all cleaned up and wiping it down with alcohol. So that way, when we do put it in, when I put the new sealant in, it holds it pretty strongly. And that is going to work just peachy wonderful. So, so like I said, it's going to be great. Uh, so let's get to it, see how it'll do this. And what I'm installing is this particular flow right drain remote drain plug. Okay. I do have six feet on my hose. You can get them six, eight, and ten feet. You get it, uh, you get it all six feet. Six feet where you're gonna go back right there, or eight feet to ten feet if you're doing it up here. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, as far as the hole goes as you can see here this is what held the switch in okay so first of all let's feed oh we got to drill a hole don't we all right so one inch diameter hole at the bottom which is already there it's your typical drain plug and then you're going to and then you're going to need to do a you figure out where your wiring is, you know, where you're actually going to put it. And then here you do a one and three quarter inch hole saw and drill where you're going to mount it. Uh, slightly enlarge the bottom or the six o'clock position of the mount hole clearance for the knob boss connector. Well, I'll tell you something. If you really want to know what they're talking about, it's this piece right here. This is the lower end. So you wanna make sure you get that clear. This part right here, where it sits in, is perfect where you wanna put it. So either you can use this as a template and do it, or you can actually get a hole saw like I did. So without further ado, let's first get this drilled. Right. So as you see there's here's the flow right switch. This is for your remote drain plug. I got it ran through here. It's gonna go in between some batteries and then down to the bottom down there, which we're getting ready to do now. So stick around, you'll see that here momentarily, but it's gonna be great. Alright, here we go.
All right, there you go. There you have it. We have installed the remote drain plug. We started off by drilling the hole here in the in the well, right? So um, we'll go ahead and we're gonna open this now. So it's out. You see it's ran down there, it's ran down there. And as you can see right there, it is out. And then we'll take it in. There's in. It's fully to in. So Whew. it was a pretty easy install. I highly suggest it, especially the older you get, the harder it gets to get down there and put the plug in. Make sure you line up everything. You have a straight line so you can open and close your drain plug. And then uh, from there, it's a lot easier. But we, we did it, guys. We got something else accomplished. It's two things down. I know it seems like there's going to be a lot more, but there is. But we're getting there. We're getting there. So the remote drain plug is installed, fully installed, ready to go. <clears throat> Once this weather breaks, we will get it water in there. See how well it holds it and then also drains it. So that's all I got for today's video. Thank you for swinging by. As always, God bless. Tatlines, we are out of here. Deuces.